turn. Well, then. Did you see this rune somewhere? Lucane says that the gate at the outskirts of town may have something to do with this rune. How can I help you? Which one? the rune you needed. The three special runes react with each other and connect to the illusionary lands. You step forth into the illusionary lands. The goddess's powers of resurrection cannot reach you here.
Dragon's breath immolates everything. Take cover! to run. to run.
ground-shaking thud that parts the clouds, the ancient dragon falls. You have returned it to its eternal sleep. The immortal dragon slumbers once again. Congratulations, hero. With your own hands, you have defeated a myth. The dragon's crown lay near the ancient dragon. It was the cause of this incident, but you can make it a symbol of hope. Without the demons, this is just an ordinary crown. However, the minds of the people have ascribed great power to it. Offer the dragon's crown to the new queen, Vivian. The crown of the Elysian king fits her well. With the legendary crown, the royal scepter and orb, none can deny her rightful ascension to the throne. The dragon's crown will be a symbol of power, inspiring fear in the hearts of any who would threaten Highland. It represents the fact that warriors who defeated the mightiest foes reside in Highland and will rise to defend it from any threat. Queen Vivian invites you to work at the castle. You value your freedom, so you politely decline. However, you vow to work for the queen whenever the need may arise. In turn, she blesses you with the royal favor for life. As you exit through the Great Gate, many soldiers turn and salute. You have completed a legendary accomplishment. Queen Vivian would lead Highland well, reclaiming its past borders and reasserting itself as a powerful nation. The tale of the Dragon's Crown ends here. Despite accomplishing enough for myriad lifetimes, your story is just beginning. The Elves' kingdom is deep in a forest where humans never tread. Elves don't trust outsiders. Most have never seen a human. You, however, dreamt of adventure and leaving the forest. That made you a bit of a social outcast. You returned to the forest after a long hiatus, worried about how you would be treated now that you have human and dwarf friends. To your surprise, you were treated well in all the land. The Elf King even granted you the title of Crown Regent. He's relieved because Elves had foretold of the ancient dragon's revival, but laws dictated the King must fight it. You became quite a hit with the nobles. Perhaps they thought an alluring, powerful sorceress could grant their every desire. Enticed by the glamorous life you'd always dreamed of, 
You do prophecies and palm readings to enjoy life in high society. People criticized you for trading in your old life for the finer things, but that wasn't true. You were working for the kingdom. Your prophecies were clever distractions from the nobles' worries, avarice and ambitions. You placated all their unrest. But this mundane life bores you. You long for ale from the Dragon's Haven Inn. It isn't luxury you crave, but adventure.
When you glance up at the goddess statue, you notice that the image of Althena has been made anew. When you touch it, the goddess's voice echoes in your head. Her power returned because you defeated the dragon who stole it. Althena praises you and reveals a shocking truth. The ancient dragon you defeated was not the only one that awakened. She wishes that you would also save Jula and Vernus. With the goddess's combined powers, the seal will become stronger. They'd be able to seal the gate room permanently, forever locking the ancient dragons in the illusionary lands. First, you must defeat the ancient dragon who has stolen the goddess Jula's powers. To accomplish this, you must gather nine more talismans. The trials to claim these will be even more difficult. These other ancient dragons have been awakened for much longer than the first. They will be far more formidable. Gather the nine talismans to weaken the dragon, and then defeat it to restore power to the goddess Jula. <laughs> 